Hello, hi everyone. My name is Sabrina. I'm the LPNAU coordinator, programming and coordinator. I welcome all of you today for this event. It is called the uh, festival. It is actually a celebration of a whole month of programming and efforts to make a uh, at your uh, convenience a whole month of uh, teaching spiritual teaching and other teachings um okay so let me show you the website how you can find events and dates and time and also i'm going to show you if eventually you have missed a program you can also watch the recording because we always record and we post under forums So here is the Elpinau website, and this is the homepage. And then if you go under calendar, under the tab calendar, you're gonna find all the programming and events of the month and the upcoming one. So for example, today we are doing the festival that if you go under this item, you will have the title, and then the date, the 28th of December, and then the time and the time zone. That's very important because all our items and events are uh, at uh, New York time, EDT or EST. So if you are from a, another part of the world, just make a small calculation on Google and you can have your time. So GMT is gonna be of a great help because this New York time is GMT minus five. So for someone who lives in Europe, for example, they are GMT minus minus uh, GMT plus one. That means hours difference. And someone who lives in the country where I live, Turkey, they are GMT plus three. That means eight hours difference. Just uh, go on Google and you are gonna find it. Then you're gonna have a description of the program and a bio of the guide. Most of the items are in both languages, French and English, and the audience is uh, fully English speaking audience. So that's for the calendar. If we go back, you will have some items for January. We, are, we haven't- uh, Are you showing that right now, Sabrina? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not seeing it. Okay, thank I, you. I don't know if everybody else is, that's fine. Uh -huh, yeah. All right, do you okay. uh, can you see it now, Rosemary? No. Uh, so this is the calendar. This is the tab yeah. calendar. No, I'm yeah. seeing it. So this this is the event talking about, and there are other events. So for example, tomorrow, the 29th, there will be Lorraine, our guide from USA, talking about uh, feeding our heart light with heart math tools. So if you want to, at, to attend it, you can just go under forums and get from there the Zoom link and the passcode. So how you are going to do this? You have two tabs, go under program forums and you will have all the forums. Then go under the one uh, you are, so hmm. no, not this one. So you're gonna have all the forums of the month you just go under the one you want to attend and you will find the description. So let me um, refresh this one. As I mean, you are going to have the Zoom link, the description, again, the bio of the guide and the passcode. Make sure that you are under the right forum because unless you are under it, you're going to have another Zoom link. So here, for example, I'm gonna show you for tomorrow's event. Um, let me see this one doesn't work. Okay, let me see. So, okay, as we are in here, I don't know why it's okay. So, for example, the one of tomorrow is Lorraine's presentation. You see that I always put program description and Zoom link. We go under this link, and it is open to all registered members on LP now, now. So, you are going to have Zoom here. And the passcode, I always share it, or it is always here. Um, it is always the same for people who are uh, with us. And then you are going to have, have the second, the second session, or I don't know how many, each guide has uh, one or two or three sessions. And, and then you are going to have a bio of the guide, and that's it. 
So uh, all here under the forums, if you need to attend or uh, any presentation of our guides. Thank you. That was what I wanted to say in order to you in order to attend and be able to uh, benefit from the programs. Now we are going back to the plan. So Rosemary, I think now we are going to listen to you in the words like and ask for the whole month. Okay. <laughs> yes. I, uh... It's, I congratulate everybody who has been a part of this month. Yaya, Narimen, uh, Nazreen, uh, I think those are the people who are on here, right? Um, who have been with us repeatedly. And in a couple minutes, we'll ask you to uh, talk from a couple, you know, a couple of sentences about anything that you've learned this month. We've been talking about light, both, you know, the opposite of darkness, the opposite of heaviness. And some of the darkness could be physical. Some of it could be emotional. Some of it could be spiritual. Some of it could be in your thoughts, in your ideas, in your feelings. So these are words that have many levels of meaning. And we've been exploring lightness, light, um, and what it could mean to us and how we can help to bring it to other people. And we've defined how we know that someone is feeling lightness or enlightenment or lightheartedness. These are all words that we could use. And one physical, easily recognizable way to experience, to understand, to know that uh, someone is responding to us with feeling greater light is when people smile. And uh, so we've explored a little bit how to bring smiles to other people and what the power is for us when we smile and the tight connection for all of us between smiling and feeling happy rather than downhearted. So uh, thank you for joining us in this exploration and I'll look forward to when you introduce yourself, tell us as usual your name and your country and also Tell us a little bit about this month and what you have, how you have experienced it, what you are taking away from it. Okay, so I congratulate you all and I'm very proud that you have participated and stayed with us. Thank you. Sabrina? Yes, so please, um, it's open for the audience to introduce yourself, to tell us a bit about you, what interests you in the programs of ETINA, what you learned throughout the, the, the whole month of programming that you have been attending. Thank you. Who would like to go first? When, when this happens in the U.S., we say, well, don't all jump in at once. <laughs> Karen, would you like to start? Okay. Hold on. Well, I'm one of those who regretfully, and I do regret it, have not attended uh, the programs this month. But I'm here today because the new year is coming up. 
and I'm ready to go. And I do want to attend some more of these. I know they're wonderful programs. I have been to some, but certainly not enough to speak for the month of December. Um, but again, my name is Karen Rowe. I'm from the United States. And um, in terms of the concept of light, I, I noticed when uh, Reverend Rosemary mentioned uh, the, the effect of smiling and the light that that brought to other people that just the mention of that word caused uh, the pictures when they came up, the ones I saw, they were smiling. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't know, and it made me feel good. Uh, but I'd like to attend some more programs. And I, I'm, I'm here today, too, to, to see what you have to say about the month of December, something maybe I can learn from you that I missed. I, I would love to learn something from you today. Thank, thank you. you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. All right, uh, thank you. Nariman, would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us about, about you. Hello, everyone. My name is, my name is uh, Slaim Nariman. I'm from Algeria. I, I'm 25 years old. So I'm a teacher of, uh, I'm French teacher and uh, how to say poetess? <laughs> how to say what? Poetess. She's a poet. She writes poems. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So uh, according to this uh, theme, uh, I, want, I want to say that uh, the light uh, is uh, is to be uh, to be happy. So the la manière, la manière dont the, the way the way yeah, to the way to the way to the way to be happy. Uh, so, that's fine. Me and Reverend Rosemary can help you with the translation. Yeah. So, we can also say things in French, both of us. We can translate for you. Yep. Thank you. Happily. Uh, yes. So, uh, Rosemary, do, do, do we invite others to introduce? introduce themselves, then we ask audience to read their poems and paragraphs or yes. we right away. Ask. Okay, so thank you Narimar for your introduction. Yahya, could you introduce yourself? Tell us some. where are you from? Who are you? I'm Yahya from Tunisia. I'm an electrician. And mm, sorry, I prepare my paragraph just now. I prepare my paragraph. Uh, would you like to, to say my paragraph? Uh, we will, we will uh, not yet, just introduce yourself and then we will invite you to read it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. And now, I don't know if you hear us, but I would like you to introduce yourself if you hear me. Asma? I think Asma was having trouble connecting. M C M as okay. his or okay. her. Okay. Uh, Am Siam, could you Hi. turn on your camera? Hi, can you see you? Yes. Good. Wait a minute. There. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. How are you? I hope all yeah. of you are we fine. Are, we are great. So if you Thank can you. introduce yourself. I'm Mazafili from Pakistan. OK. And where are you? Yeah. I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. OK. Um, are there, I, 
I think I've seen you at a couple of programs, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. I used to join the classes or I must say the session. Right. So have you, do you have a comment or something that you have experienced in these classes that you'd like to share yeah. with us? Yeah, I have been learning many things from you people. And like everyone, everyone having their own idea, ideas about the sessions they are sharing. Yeah, it's uh, helpful for, for me. Okay. And yeah, and I'm trying to do my best. Yep. And that's great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I think we mm -hmm. should now uh, start uh, yeah, inviting you to read your poems, read your paragraphs, tell something that you have uh, produced. So Narima, I'm going to start with you because Nesrin is having a trouble of uh, connecting again. Uh, Nesrin, this is your poem here translated to English. You are going to read it in French as you have acknowledged, but I will sh show the translation as many of us uh, are English speaking. So Nariman, could you start reading your poem or tell us the inspiration before this first, and then you can read it. Uh, I, uh, je me suis inspiré uh, par uh, tout d'abord par le mot light. Mm -hmm. How to, uh, comment, uh, comment Comment se transformer, enfin, enfin, se transmettre de le, la lumière, enfin de la tristesse du chagrin à la lumière à, au bonheur. Okay. Comment on fait pour yes. euh, surmonter le, la tristesse C'est yes. ça. Thank you. I have been inspired by the word light. That's the theme of the Elpina for the month of December. So I have been inspired by this word to shift from sadness to happiness and the feeling of light. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. We are all ears. So, uh, nous aimons tellement sortir de l'obscurité à la lumière mais nous avons peur de regarder derrière. Et si le chagrin accroche ses griffes sur nos barrières, la joie se remet en arrière. Son recul dessine une frontière dans nos cœurs qui coulent de misère. Nous sommes loin d'être heureux peut-être, mais un petit geste nous aide à fin de l'être. Nous tentons de créer notre bonheur en ciblant une lueur. Donc, nous allons devenir des bienfaiteurs qui font du bien dans cette terre. Réunir des familles, propager la tolérance entre les amis, aider les enfants, des enfants sans abri et les malades qui crient. Tout ce qui nous réjouit rend les autres éblouis. Et dans ce cas, ça nous épanouit. Merci. Voilà. Merci beaucoup. C'est magnifique. Merci. Okay, so I do have, uh, Nesreen, are you here? Nancy. Yes. Oh, thank you. So Nesreen, I am showing and sharing your, uh, your uh, drawing. So can you tell us something about the inspiration behind this piece? And also right after that, you are going to, write, to read your paragraph. I think that, that's what. Yes. So, um, well, we all know that person in, uh, in our, uh, how to say, entourage, um, how to say it? Surrounding. Yes. Surrounding. We all know that person who are suffering, but in silence. And we don't know how she suffer, but the, the little thing that we can do uh, for the person can, can make uh, her or his life more easy, or it can save her life or his life. So, uh, an act of light, uh, we say, yeah, we say yes. like that. So, yes. an, 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 uh, yeah. an act of kindness can save a life, and we don't know how it's, um, uh, how to say it, 
So it just it 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 doesn't um uh how to say it it doesn't um uh need efforts to do uh some help or a smile or a lot of things can make the the, the difference in uh, someone's life because uh yeah because so, there's there's some people who are uh who are um how to say it who are how is it, tellement qui souffrent qu'ils arrivent au point de se suicider okay people who are suffering too much so they commit a suicide yeah and they show and they uh, see to the world that it's dark and there is no light in there so a little, a little act of kindness to that person just can can make the difference can make that the, the, the that kind of person realize that life it isn't so bad it can be uh, some light in there it can be some good in people so to uh, perdre espoir yeah we shouldn't uh, uh, we, all, we always have to be hopeful we, we can be hopeful yes that's it that's it Thank you. So in this uh, drawing, for example, this person is suffering, the, the person in, in the right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and uh, the, 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 the guy who are, who are smiling, he is, um, how to say it, he, he's not able to, to walk, but he can't smile. He, he has the, the, the force to smile at that oh. person. And he, she can, she realized that her, her, maybe her life it, uh, it, it, it isn't so bad. Thank you. Thank you. Paul, Rosemary, you are mute. Uh, we can't hear you. Thank you, Nasreen. Powerful message. Uh, yes. And I wish someone could be here. He is Ayub from Tunisia. And Ayub told us last time that he, always, he also did something like this where he changed so he got appreciation for acts of kindness he did, and he was so happy and felt light with this. And though he is also in the same situation you are illustrating in here, depicting absolutely the same situation, but hopefully next festival you are gonna meet him, Nesreen. He's a great person. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I invite you to read your essay, paragraph. Yes. So light is any act that we show or share with someone to brighten their day. It can be anything, a smile, holding the door for someone, helping an old lady across the road, etc. And it, it is an act of, kidna of kindness that makes people think that there is still humanity in this light of violence, that there is a ray of sunshine, a light in this darkness. This light brings happiness in people's hearts, in my case, I like to please others and see their eyes light up with joy, especially if I am the reason. Last year, <laughs> last no, wait, wait. In in my case, uh, no, what, what I <laughs> last year, I was in a group messenger to talk to people who are passionate about like like literary, li right? How to say it? Yes. How to pronounce it? Literature. Literature, yeah. So we are we started to get to know each other through the social media. One day we decided to meet in real life for the first time. We organized it, and the day we met, we uh, was also the birthday of one of them. I just went to see the wait waitress at lunchtime to, uh, to write happy birthday on the girl's pizza. The girl was so moved out about it. I mean, I, I was just a girl who didn't know her, uh, but I remember her and she was very surprised in a happy way, of course, and I feel and I feel satisfied and happy to see her happy. So that, from that date, we will become close friends <laughs> until today. And so, yeah, uh, it doesn't make, it doesn't take so much effort to make a day for someone. It can be uh, our family, our friends, our stranger in outside. So yeah, that's it. Yes, wonderful.
That's a really good story. Yes, thank you. Yes, absolutely. And I like the illustration that you shared with us before. Thank you so much, Nesreen. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think um, you can also read your paragraph. I will be delighted listening to you, though I don't have it actually. Go it. Are you going to read it in French or in English? In English. Great. Thank you. Okay. If you face yourself truly, keep striving for your dream, you can decide the future. And the sunshine's smile come out for your corner, I'm sure you will do. I pray and I believe that tomorrow will be better. All right. Thank you. So precise and concise, as we say. Thank you so much. Now, Rosalie, could you give me a hand reading the ones of Malik? Um, okay, I, sure. Okay, just a second. So he said sorry because he couldn't. Okay. His paragraph is about a random act of kindness also. Okay. A random act of kindness is an act of your best to others by being nice or offering the best of yourself to others without something in return. Thus, it impacts one's well-being pos positively. That is defined in the simplest terms as the state of being comfortable, healthy, or happy, as in Google Dictionary. And here is how. Those who do random acts of kindness, such as charitable work, volunteering, donating for charity for orphans, holding the door open for someone, or taking flowers to a nearby hospital in appreciation for the medical team's role to fight the epidemic, they feel happy and content. Those acts are not only exclusive for recipients, but they're also inclusive for givers. In a medical context, the release of oxytocin, the love hormone, into the blood has an effective impact on the human body as it lowers blood pressure and dilates blood vessels. Thus, decreasing feelings of stress and anxiety and so on, unlike those who have a high probability to be exposed to heart and cardiovascular diseases. There's two people in the waiting room. Sabrina, do you want to let them in? Sure. It has been found that for people who are 55 years old or older. <laughs> but I need to stop my sharing in order to go there, I think. Sorry. So Sally and Carellos That's are right. coming into the room. All right, admitted. Okay, so now uh, the paragraph has gone over to the left, so I keep there. Thank you. <laughs> um, therefore, they have a 44% lower likelihood of dying early, and that's after sifting every other contributing factor, such as physical health, exercise, habits like smoking, marital status, and money, and more. And that's from an article by or historical 2020. And from Christine Carter, okay. Raising Happiness in Pursuit of Joyful Kids and Happier Parents. That's a great book title. So carry out a random act of kindness with no expectation of reward, safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you, said Princess Diana. Nice, nice quotes. Yes, I wish he could be here uh, to read yeah, it. But, uh, I know. Fine. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Sally, are you here listening? It yes. Is, uh, all right. So I'm showing showing your paragraph in English. C could you introduce yourself first in mm. and then? Yes. Hi, I am Sally. Uh, I'm from Iraq. And I'm a college student in the, in the first term, my first year, yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good to meet you. Good to see you, Sally. Oh, 
Could you go and read your paragraph, please? Uh, my English reading is not that much. Can you read it? You? I'm gonna try, okay. Good. <laughs> I prefer that Sabrina read it because my reading is not that much, but... Hey, it's good practice. Um, by, yeah. by, by doing it, you get better at it. You can look yeah, at the screen you right. in your paragraph. You can see it right on the screen. Okay. Happiness in this station in which man did this his life as life full of stability and comfort and wait for uh, the difficult and precious of difficult life which lends him to feel hope and better life at the t at all times uh, and therefore a strong yeah Go ahead feeling by making the people around us happy people uh, people go uh, through a lot of different and place daily and smile think to do for them many make his day try to deal hate other with a smile okay uh, Okay, I, I actually I write it in Arabic and uh, I translate it by Google Translation. I see. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy to read on if you would like. Yes, go ahead if you don't mind, Sally. Would you? Yeah. Don't That's mind. Good. Like nothing more beautiful than the person smiling. You may have noticed how you improved your mood once when someone smiled at you honestly. Your smile might help improve someone's mood. Try to make others yes. happy. Yes. This is the number one rule to be happy and to delight others around you as well. Optimism means looking for the positive side in each case, trying to make others grateful. Try to say thank you to people for the services they provide to you and uh, keep doing for you to make others happy, to be there to help them. Often when we get distracted from people who are in trouble and may need physical, mental, or emotional help, learning to be there always to help others in their difficult time, as the friend is said in, to do in a time of distress. Thank you, Rosemary. And thank, thank you. you, Sally. Thank you, Sally. Thank, also. thank you very much, Sally, for the efforts you have been doing. I know that you are learning English and you have written this in Arabic and we are going to, me and Rosemary, to edit and work on it. But thank you for the effort, for the thoughts, yes. for the presentation, for everything. For your thank good you. thoughts. Yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So, Asmao, are you here and do you hear us and are you ready to, re to read your paragraph? Asmao? I don't think so. Okay, so, um, Ka Car Carlos? Carlos? Carlos. Carlos? Carlos? Yes. Okay, can you turn on your camera? Can we see you? Aha, uh -huh. there you are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> please, Hello, doctor. Help, please introduce yourself. Yes, uh, my name is Krolos. Uh, I am Egyptian. Uh, I am uh, 31 years old. Okay, okay. Um, you have, a, you, I know that you have attended some of the programs this yeah. month. Yes. 
uh, and I'd be curious, what have you learned about light or lightness or lightheartedness or, uh, you know, being happy? Yes, uh, I, I am already happy, uh, uh, although uh, uh, whatever uh, happened uh, in this year, uh, I should be happy because uh, uh, God gave me more and more uh, that uh, I don't expect it. Great. So you should be happy. Yes. Are you happy? Yes, I am happy already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you see the difference between I should be and I am? Uh, of course, uh, I, I know the difference, but uh, okay. uh, uh, in, uh, if I am uh, sad because of uh, uh, something happened, but I'm, uh, I must be happy uh, for uh, uh, another uh, happened uh, uh, that ha happened uh, with me. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't care about uh, one point uh, uh, set in my life. Uh, I, I should uh, look at uh, uh, the light, uh, as you see, in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yes. That's being optimistic. Yeah. Yes. And I envision you over this 2021. Yeah. Yes. You are moving from thinking, knowing that you should do these things, you must do these things, moving to feeling happy. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Did you have you written a paragraph yet? Uh, each paragraph. So I think. <laughs> All right, mm. stay tuned on the WhatsApp group. We should write paragraphs about light, a paragraph about light and happiness, and share it with me, please, on my WhatsApp. Okay. Or on the website. Okay. Great. Thank you. Asma, are you able to join us and talk with us? She did come on. For... Yeah. Asma, okay. Uh, I'm here. Oh, good. Great. Yes. Can I see you, Asma? Good to see you. Uh, thank you. Uh, good to see you, too. Can you turn on your camera? Can you introduce yeah. yourself, please? Oh, great. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Asma. Okay. And Hi. we're... Where Asma are, Bari. And where are I'm you? I'm from Guinea. From? Guinea. From yes. Guinea. Okay, great. Yes. Wonderful to see and you. And I'm 24 years old. And you wrote a paragraph. Yes, uh, I wrote a paragraph. It's just uh, an experience yeah. that happened to me. Okay. So... Okay, let me try to read it. Yes, thank you. And who is E? <laughs> Just admitted him. I don't yes, know. I know. It's about me. It's about you, Asma. Your paragraph you're talking about. Yes. Yes, it's a, a story about me. A story that happened to me. Yes, that's great. Yes, okay. Uh, I was asked to represent my department one day at the university as it was a reading com competition going on and there was no volunteer. On one hand, I was happy because I knew I'm a good reader. On the other hand, I was scared because speaking in front of people is very difficult for me and I'm shy. 
my best friend encouraged me to go for it. And that's what I did. Mm. Before my turn, I was so scared. I started uh, shuddering. And at, the mo- at that moment, I felt like uh, a little voice inside me telling me that it's okay, everything will be fine. You should go and do what you have to do. It was like a light that God put within me to take all the fear and the darkness out. It left me courageous enough to go and read perfectly and also answer all the questions that I learned with the reading. I was so happy because uh, I won the competition and because I honored my department. That light uh, which was inside me that day saved me. All right. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Asma. Thank you very much, yeah, for sharing your experience. And that's true. Sometimes we have to face our fears and there is a little light inside of us that encourages us and push us, like a little push forward. Yes, yes. right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. So yeah. there is someone who is in the room who's... Uh, oh, thank you. Who is identified only by the letter. Okay, Mr. Uh, Ormi, could you could you introduce yourself, please? How are you? Mr. E, Mrs. E. Or A. No, no. The mystery. The mystery person. Uh, okay, Rosemary, thank you, everyone. I think we should open. We, you have a couple of minutes to ask questions about the theme of the month, or um, also before that, if you wish, uh, Rosemary, we can speak about the certificates. We can deliver. Yes. Let's and- let's do that. Yeah. So, three people finished the first class that we've offered with that ended with a certificate. Do you have a picture of one of the certificates? I'm working on that, I'm showing it. Uh, I am showing randomly one of the certificates and then you can state the names of other people. Yes, right. Okay, all right, so I'm going to this share. Is, this was a class that when we did it during three months. So each Friday, we met, and these are, there are three people who, who attended every time, and it was really a wonderful experience. Uh, we got to know each other, and it was, it was a class about how to develop peace in ourselves and how to become more skillful in communicating peacefully around us, in our families, in our relationships. It's called Engaging Peacemaking. And Lisa Hirsch, uh, who lives in the United States in North Carolina, was one of the three people who completed the class. Uh, Another person who completed the class is Sabrina. Congratulations, Sabrina. Thank you. And, and the third person was our guide from uh, Spain, Mo Jadul. So uh, we are very proud of these people for completing that class, for attending for three months. And it was fun. You know, it was an hour and a half, once a week. We learned a lot. We learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot about peacemaking. Uh, and that class will be, has been recorded and will be available for others who w- wish to um, become certified. And we have, we will have during each, um, each month, we will have at least one class for certification that's ongoing. So 
that, that is an option that you can become certified by living peace now as a peacemaker. And there will be, you know, several classes over a period of two years, one at a time, that will lead to that final certificate as a peacemaker. And the curriculum is interesting. So engaging peacemaking was the first one. In January, I'm going to be offering the class, Your 12 Magical Powers, how we, each of us has the powers already in us to create what, the lives that we want and to create the opportunities that we want to help others and to make a difference, to leave a legacy in the world. Um, so that will be the, the new class next, starting in January, which is in a week or so. <laughs> Uh, yep. And I expect it will be on Fridays from, yes. from 12 to 1.30. So anyone that would like to join us in that class, we generally offer it in English with translation in French. Um, so, you know, if you need some help with French, you, you can get it in taking that class. So, thank, thank you. Thank you, Rosemary. So yes, if you go, uh, as I showed you before, under the calendar, which I'm going to show you again, um, and you, you will see that we already posted some of the classes of Reverend Rosemary Hyde there. So you go under December, uh, sorry, January in here, and you will get the time, the date, and description of the program. So here is it, Certificate Program 12 Magical Powers for Success with Reverend Rosemary. The first one is going to be the 8th of January at midday New York time. Check your time zone, please, if you want to be part of this program. Um, yes, and you are all welcome, as Rosemary said. Thank you. Now I would like also to show you another project that uh, is being made and uh, completed. It is Engaging Peacemaking Booklet Reflection. I am going to show it, and Rosemary can also say how uh, we have, from the heart, we have been working on that to make it come true and for you to read it. So this is the booklet of uh, October, if I am not wrong, Engaging Peacemaking. I think it was September, but. Uh, September was Simplicity or, okay, septem September was Simplicity, I think. August was Simplicity. Okay, all right, so that, that's, septem that's September. Yeah, right. Peacemaking, all right. So here uh, you first have an editor note the editor is Reverend Rosemary, and then you're gonna have all the essays and paragraphs collection from people who have written and shared with me. So first of all, you can- So, so, so I, eventually your paragraphs will be published in, the, in this booklet, Reflections. So you can, you will get a copy and in, you know, whatever language you need it in and, um, we will ask you to enjoy sharing it with your friends and family members. And it's kind of, I, I enjoy being published. I think you might as well. Yes, sure. It's, um, it's a contribution, you know, it's, uh, it's apart from the job you're doing and uh, you know, we all seek and an aim in life, but this is something you are doing for yourself, I think. This is a way how you express yourself uh, with, you can just with a pen and your thoughts and you can just produce a piece of writing and then you get published. This is a very enjoyable experience. I, uh, I wish you can all uh, do this and um, yeah, and you can also, as Rosemary said, you can make the world with you and make a difference into the world. So also um, this every two days or three days, an article is going to be published or posted on the Facebook page of LP Now. So if you wish, you can also like the page 
so that you can see all the postings we are doing there. Your essays are going to be posted there. So feel free to comment, feel free to share, feel free to go and read them from there. Thank you. So this was the pro second project we wanted to show you. And then we can open a couple of minutes for you to ask questions. Uh, I don't know if you have some requests, whatever. Go ahead. Yes. If you need to say something, just raise hand. And I'm going to see this on your uh, profiles, windows. MCM. Okay, go ahead and see. I'm listening to you. Yes, actually, I was just asking that uh, as you gave the certificate to the three people who who has participated in the sessions. So, what is the criteria that getting this certificate? Um, what we should do to get that certificate? Kindly brief me. Okay. Okay, so um, upon the registration to the website, you need just to go and register to the website LP now, and then you can check the calendar and see when does the, start, the course start, and you go and you attend the classes. I don't know if Rosemary is going to uh, do some tests at the end of the course, we, uh, she can tell, but I think attendance is the criteria for you to get the certificate, and, and most of and participation and yeah you know and yes. uh, learning <laughs> learning <laughs> yes yes uh, suppose suppose a person is busy if he or she missed two or three classes so what will be the criteria to then, okay so you, yes, yes you can miss two or maybe three but yeah. you, you would need to um go and listen to it online and uh, turn in to me, send to me, whatever the assignment was for the next Fine. week. Fine. Uh, the classes will be in daily basis or weekly basis? They'll be what? Weekly. It's going to be weekly. weekly. Every, every week, yes, weekly. Fine. In a week once it will be. And Once a week, yes, right, Friday. And the duration is three months. Yes. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, there will be about 12 classes. Fine, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank okay, you. thank you. Someone else who has a question, just feel free to ask. If not, I would like to ask you kindly, Rosemary, to um, say a word. Uh, make us smile as you always do before we close up the meeting when we are going to wish to see you uh, often uh, in our festivals or any program and presentation. Yeah. So, everybody that I can see, smile. Okay. Yasmin, could you smile for us? Yes, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is, as we've been talking about, smiling is <laughs> yeah. good for us and good for each other. It's happy making. And that is one very important experience of light and so is appreciation when when and i invite you to try this sometime within the next 24 hours somebody in your life catch them doing something nice and thank them even if you've never thanked them before, thank that person for doing, even if it's a job that they've agreed to do and they've done for five years, appreciate verbally. Say thank you, say what you enjoy about thank it. Thank you. 
and people will be made happy. You will be giving a ray of light to a friend. Okay, can you do that? Yes, sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you, everyone. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Thank you all. The end of 2020. Yeah. <laughs> 2020, yeah. Yeah, right. Not yes. in I, yeah, I don't and think it's gonna be remembered as very many people's favorite <laughs> year ever. And, <laughs> and best wishes for next year. <laughs> Yes, we we can really expect next year overall yeah. better <laughs> to be better. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. See you okay. all. Thank you very much. You. Bye bye. 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 bye.